the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has condemned the recent arrest and harassment of newspaper vendors and journalists in Imo State and other states in the Southeast by security agents. IPOP said it is wicked for security operatives to humiliate vendors and journalists for distributing contents related to Biafra and pro-Biafra groups. While the IPOB urged all stakeholders in the journalism profession to rise up and challenge the security operatives, it is in its attempt to silence the press. It vows that it will not stop talking about its agitation for Biafra. The group said this in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, on Tuesday. We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by our prophet and liberator, Mazi Nambekano, condemn in very strong terms the incessant arrest and humiliation of newspaper vendors as well as the harassment of journalists by the Nigerian security operatives for writing or distributing Biafra IPOP or Eastern Security Network related news and materials. This is wickedness and a calculated attempt to suppress the press. It's a global embarrassment that the Nigerian security agents will be hunted for newspaper vendors and, sorry, will be hunting for newspaper vendors and journalists in Imo State and other Biafran cities for committing no crime other than writing or distributing news content that affect Biafra. IPOP or the Eastern Security Network. How many times have the security agents harassed any journalist or newspaper vendor in the north for writing about Boko Haram or the bandits? The same hypocritical Nigerian security agents allow viral videos and audios from Boko Haram and other terrorists to circulate in the media. But when IPOB spokesman was featured on China's television, the federal government came on with five million naira fine against the station. Islamic cleric Sheikh Gumi keeps meeting with terrorists and has turned into advocacy for them through the media. Yet journalists or newspaper vendors has been questioned over such reports. The Fulani controlled Nigerian security agencies cannot suppress Biafra no matter how hard they try. Not even their draconian policies and anti-press moves can stop their atrocities and unprovoked genocidal attacks in Biafra land from being reported. The world must read our story. We therefore challenge the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Nigerian Guild of Editors, newspaper publishers, civil society groups, and democracy lovers to take up the fight. It's not about Biafra. It's all about free press and democracy. After all, the victims are not IPOP members, but ordinary newspaper vendors and innocent journalists. The statement partly reads. In the statement titled IPOP, titled, IPOP condemns arrest, intimidation of newspaper vendors, journalists by Nigerian security operatives in Imo State, the Biafra group reminded the people that the Nigerian government is trying to intimidate journalists. It also called on the international community to question the Nigerian government on why it has been hunting the press. The ultimate goal of the full and controlled federal government of Nigeria is to intimidate journalists into submission so they will be too afraid to report the extrajudicial killings and other crimes against humanity perpetrated 
by the security agents against Biafrans. We know that their game plan. This is only a prelude so that the, when eventually they begin their proposed jihad in the eastern region, no journalists and newspaper vendor will be courageous enough to report or circulate the story. Both they must not be allowed to succeed or get away with this tyranny. The United Nations, the United States, the European Union, the United Kingdom, and lovers of democracy all over the world should ask Nigerian government why it's clamping down on the free press or the freedom of press, the statement added. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, you have heard it all. The Nigerian government is harassing journalists in the country. And the United States actually had, you know, cautioned the Nigerian government recently on arresting, you know, innocent people and locking them up. The question is, why are they particular about the IPOP? Even under this administration, journalists have been missing. People have gone missing without traces. Right up until now, there is still uh, a man called Dadiata who is still missing for criticizing the president. The question is, why, does, why is it that the security agents have continued to arrest people take people up and, um, you know, get people intimidated, especially journalists and people who are criticizing the president. Where is the freedom of the press? Where is the freedom of the press is the question that we should continue to ask this government because nobody knows for how long they want to continue to carry out this barbaric act against the freedom of the people. It is sad and unfortunate, though, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. But be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, I'd like to know what your thoughts are concerning this particular news story as it were, guys. Drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.